Um, you said at the start something quite interesting about the fact that you decided that you had to speak to Nick Clegg before doing this interview. Um, are you concerned that you put yourself in an, in an untenable position? Well, I hope. Uh, I mean, you know, we're experimenting with coalition government, first one since the, since, the, uh, since the Second World War. I hope that this period for reflection should allow mature debate about how we get these reforms right and that it should be possible for me to speak out and say what I think should happen, evolution, not revolution. Uh, and in that way, I think the government can get itself off the hook that it's on at the moment. It can get a lot of professionals back on board. And most important of all, it can reduce the financial risk. What if you don't get the change you want? Well, I just think it's essential that we all work to ensure that we get a package that people can support, that my party, that the, the Liberal Democrats can support. <coughs> For of coalition, course, for I'm, coalition I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Norman. Lamb. Of course, I understand that point completely, but you have to consider the possibility. What if you don't? Well, this package is not going to work unless we can get people on board, and that includes addressing the concerns that I've raised. So, presumably, when you spoke to Nick Clegg, you raised the possibility that this could be a resignation issue. Look, I've said that if it's impossible for me to carry on in my position, I will step down. I don't want to cause embarrassment, but I feel very strongly uh, about this issue. Uh, and I think that it's in the government's but interest to get it right in the way that I suggest. But that could happen. It could. And you would leave the government and that would be pretty destabilising. Well, look, uh, getting the NHS right is the most important thing. And indeed, it would be incredibly destabilising politically if we get this reform wrong.